call it triple character, the traditional Africa, the Western influences, and uh, the Islamic influences. If you have one beat that's going on, like this, right? There will be another underlying beat at the same time doing this. Or you can do it, everybody right now, like on the desk, on your knee, whatever, you're going to do this. You're going to hit both hands together and you're going to go, not fit for pull. Not fit for pull. Not fit for pull. Right, that's a two against three. But, now, the way the, uh, he was doing that, I mean, the, the Akan people like to do their bell pattern. They go one, two, three, and then they have two. So they go one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, 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 one, suggested to me, no, that's just, it's just a dance, and there's a couple of steps to these. The one they were using, one of the people dressed in red, was kind of like the one we were using when the hobobo came to our compound, on the or something like that. He's only getting an instrument. What? Some of the Irish pipes. Irish pipes, yep. Okay, good. And then the gentleman who was playing the violin, first of all, who was the first guy we saw, what was he playing? Tin whistle, right? Yeah, you got it. Yeah, right. that's Tiny Malone, right? Patty Malone, he's about this tall. All right, I'll tell you about that in a minute. Good old Patty, he's been doing this a while. <laughs> uh, the style of drumming is a lot different when you do pipe drumming. Like American drumming, like when you hear the marching cheeks play, they do stuff like this, you know. Right, kind of very loud, open style. Um, Scottish drumming, we use press rolls, very syncopated, kind of swing a lot. It took me a long time to get used to this style because it's kind of backwards from the American style. Things tend to start on the left hand, they start off the beat. Like I said, it's syncopated, it's just a completely different style of dancing. I think I spent four years with the Caledonians in Texas, I think it took three years to get used to it, and then the last year I was actually good. Similarities. Uh, they both use raga. We'll flesh these terms out a little bit more here in a few minutes. They both use raga as the basis of melody. They both use tala as their system of meter and rhythm. Right? Um, they're both part of larger artistic traditions. You know, the music and the dance and the drama all tied together. So we might as well piano it sound like this. A lot of tin. Chop, 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 chop,
the male female tuning. All right, we talked about that. Uh, we did the line musical illustrations. The interlocking rhythms they use, we call those kotakans and gamalangam kevyar. So when the two fellows on the left were demonstrating how the patterns interlock, those are kotakans. Kilatan tolu is the uh, the name we use for those interlocking patterns when we apply it to the gamalangam And then the barong dance, they use a bit costume. I right? will see that in a second. Now the male dance, just, they actually have your gender gender specific dance styles. You see in the bar stance tends to be more of an open stance like this, you know, strong position like this, kind of strong, aggressive, male-like movements, right? Women's dance, they tend to keep the feet a little bit closer together, you know, a little bit more like this. Um, lots of expressions with the hands, facial expressions, they use their eyes flashing around a lot. I think it's more intricate on her style of dance. We, well, they have what they call Wayang or Rang, which means people theater. And this is Wayang Kulit, and this is the shadow puppet theater. This t-shirt I'm wearing today, this is a Javanese t-shirt, but this actually shows some shadow puppet figures. Because the shadow puppet we tend to associate with Mali, it's also very big on Java. So you've got Wayang or Rang, which is the people theater, Wayang Kulit, which is the shadow puppet. Um, you'll notice that the shadow puppets, when they give you glimpses behind the scenes, they're actually painted different colors. So there's times when they use them not as shadow puppets, but as regular. <laughs> Here we're getting a quick example behind the screen, right? Now the person who, who uh, does the puppets is called a Dala. But I took some lessons on Yendir Wayang. I thought I'd show you some of my own stuff. This is actually, um, I'm getting a lesson on a rim deck which is made out of bamboo, just like Gamelon Jagog, but these are a lot smaller than the Jagog instruments. So I'll show you a little bit of this. Stayed at, um, he's got a bed and breakfast, and we stayed there for the three weeks that we were in Bali. 